Today I want to talk about how to stop and treat acid reflux symptoms naturally. Acid reflux occurs when your stomach acid flows backward into your esophagus that is a tube which connects your mouth to your stomach. This usually happens when lower esophageal sphincter that is a muscle wall between the esophagus and the upper part of the stomach becomes weak or relaxes when it shouldn't. The backwash of the acid irritates the lining of your esophagus and causes a burning sensation. Now, how does this muscle wall weaken? It could be due to added pressure on your abdomen from being overweight or certain medications like blood pressure medicines or painkillers or antidepressants or smoking. Now, does food have a role to play here? The answer is yes, it does. Now fatty foods for example sit in your stomach for a longer time and this means that your body needs to produce more acid in order to digest them and this excess acid can come surging back up to your esophagus. Other foods that come up a lot are onion, especially raw onion. Large meals and carbonated beverages can also lead to heartburn hassle. Coffee can also contribute to heartburn as it's been shown to weaken the sphincter while the caffeine stimulates increased acid production. Spicy foods or foods that are highly acidic like tomatoes and citrus foods can add even more acid to your stomach contents and also irritate the lining. Other than food, stress is known to relax the esophageal sphincter and allow backflow of acid. Let's look at the acid reflux symptoms. Heartburn especially after meals and at bedtime, difficulty in swallowing, hiccups, wheezing, coughing. Now, what are the ways to stop and treat the symptoms of acid reflux? Antacids is not the long-term answer. Antacid neutralizes stomach acid, which is actually required for digestion of the food. They hinder B12 absorption, calcium absorption. If you have severe acidity, it is okay to take antacids for few days to break the cycle, but not long-term. The long-term solution is to find out the cause of your acid reflux and make lifestyle changes to reduce it. Firstly, how you start your day is very important. So for some, starting the day with a probiotic like rice kanji helps, for some lemon water, for others apple cider vinegar water. You need to know what works for your body, but definitely don't start your day with caffeine. You need to eat your meals on time and avoid skipping meals. This will prevent acid buildup. Eat until you are 80% full. Overeating usually causes acid reflux. Try to avoid trigger foods for a few weeks. The best way to find out which is your trigger food is to maintain a food diary. So you can point out which foods cause acid reflux for you and avoid it. Lemon is a great digestive. Drinking lemon water half an hour before meals helps to digest the food and prevent acidity. Licorice that is muleti helps to coat the lining of the stomach and prevent acid reflux. You can make a mix of muleti powder and soft and consume it. Sleeping on the right side can help to let the acid push down. When you go to bed, start by lying down on the right side and then turn towards your left. Try wet pack treatment to cool your system and prevent acid reflux. All you have to do is place a wet cloth on your stomach 2 hours post your dinner for 5 to 10 minutes. This will help to cool down the system and reduce the acid. Eating early dinners helps to digest the food and prevent acid reflux. Avoid going to bed at least 3 hours post your meal. Get rid of food allergens like gluten and dairy for 2 weeks. Try it for a while and see if it is causing the problem. Deal with stress before you eat. Take 5 deep breaths before each meal and you'll notice a huge relaxation which will help to digest your food better. Magnesium supplements help to relax the stomach and prevent acid reflux. Hope I've answered all your questions about acid reflux. It is important to talk with your nutritionist. Do not suppress the symptoms by antacids, rather work on the root cause of acid reflux. It's all about making lifestyle changes. 
it could be the timing of your meal constipation or some food which is triggering it work on it and resolve it if you found this video interesting do subscribe to my channel make sure you do it now so that you don't miss out on my future videos